Good kitten, internet. See, kitten. It's my favorite hoodie. It's lucky at last. Good kitten. Um, so I did get one note to display my quest list, and I removed the spoilerific quests up above, or at least moved them out of the way. So before I start, let's go ahead and go through the quest list to see what we've done so far. So this is the beginning section, which is the only section I'm going to be showing you. Uh, I'm very red for some reason. Hold on, let me turn on light. There we go. Now I actually look like me. So, um, I'm wearing a swag shirt, which is the reason why I'm wearing the hoodie on top. My house is not, in fact, that cold, despite what other people claim. Uh, so, we've finished everything up in Emerald Isle, hence the reason why Emerald Isle is completely crossed off. For Harmondale, uh, we've cleaned out the Castle Harmondale, which is a plot quest, believe it or not. Um, we have... We have actually gotten the Lantern of Light, we just haven't returned it yet, so let me just mark it like that. Um, we've grabbed the Archimage deck. I just need to remember it's a lot smaller for me than it is for you. Let me just shrink this, or it's at least close. There we go. Um, so we've gotten the Lantern of Light, but we haven't returned it yet. We still need to get our door repaired. We're working on it. Uh, we've actually gone to Stone City, but we have a quest to do first. Um, we have done this promotion. So this could be crossed off. Um, in the Barrow Downs, we haven't gone to the... Or, we've gone to the Barrow Downs. Um, we've killed the Troglodytes. And we need to rescue some dwarves. Which, that's the reason why we're going to Bacadia Desert. Uh, in Arathia, we've actually done this. We just haven't returned it yet. So let's go ahead and cross that off. Um, we have not killed Blomthrax. He lives in Tatalia, and we haven't actually gone to Tatalia yet. Uh, the Archimage Tournament. So these are the places we have done the Stone City one. Um, these are the places that we've done so far. Teleria, Avli, Arathia, Stone City, Barrow Downs, Harmondale. Um, we haven't gone to Tatalia or Dea yet, or Bricadia, or even more an Island, or Nyon, or the Pit, or Celeste. We can't even reach these two for a while. Um, and the other three quests are all things that we have to do in Tatalia, so we haven't done any of them. Uh, we have all the quests, at least, so that's good. In Tatalia, there's a side quest that we need to pick up the paintings. We've done the paintings in the Barrow Downs zone. Uh, that's the one that was the paintings that we just did in the Haunted Mansion, for reference. Uh, there's another pair of paintings in Arathia, which that's going to suck to do. I don't want to do that right now. This will probably get put off until much later in the game. Um, in Avli, we have our promotion quest where we need to sabotage the lift in the Red Dwarf Mines. That's in Bricada Desert. I've already said Bricadia at least twice in this video. Oh well. Uh, in Bricada Desert, we're going to have a promotion quest that I'll get to in a bit. And we have another statuette quest. Uh, it's the exact same quest that it was in Might Magic 6, only it's in Might Magic 7. And they go to primarily even more in N Nyad. Uh, Teleria. We have technically found the Fairy King, but I forgot to actually grab it. Um, the Sealed Letter Quest. I don't believe we actually did that. I'm going to double check later. Um, there's So the guide that I was grabbing these quests on actually had two parts of this quest, which both of these are in Teleria to Avli. So that's the reason why this is just labeled as same as 27. Um, this is so I can easily look up later to go, okay, what the hell was this quest? Um, we've got the promotion quest to go find the three stone hen gay. Yes, I know I'm saying it wrong. Um, they're in Tatalia even more than Avli, but we haven't gone there yet. Uh, Deia, there's a promotion quest. Oddly enough, it's the cleric promotion quest. And we haven't been to Nyon. So, these are our quests. We're going to be going to Bricada Desert. And let's go! Also, I should probably have my headphones on so I can hear. Hopefully the audio is okay. I had to, um, well, I move around my microphone for role-playing night, and somebody noticed that the game was really far down on it. They're over there, and I can't reach them. There's a lot of that in Bricada Desert. So we come in all the way in the upper right-hand corner, which is probably good. Yep, that's right. We're fighting griffins again. Ow. Uh, we're going to 
two stones. Luckily, these griffins aren't quite as bad. I'm using this opportunity to regen myself a bit. And so these griffins are weaker than the royal griffins, so I'm not as concerned. I mean, they still hurt, don't get me wrong. Uh, do I need to cast anything from you? Fire aura is not going to hurt. Let's go ahead and fire aura. actually going to heal rather than casting regen, because they're going to be in melee range and probably attack my poor sorcerer. Let's add some more regen. Ow. Let's kill another. Uh, we're, we're going to inevitably kill another. Bricada Desert is actually a fairly... This is up a bit high for me. Um, Bricada Desert is actually a fairly scary place. I believe that is everybody. Let's double check. Yes. I really need to remember to pick up Bless. I meant to before and forgot. Anyway, we're walking this way, which is over to the staples. You'll notice green. So we've got griffins, we've got people, the human, and we've got golems. Don't piss off the golems. We won't be pissing off the golems in this particular game. Is this well? I have no idea. All right. There's second horseshoe, third horseshoe's in here. No, third horseshoe's around back. I just look at the mini map. I are smart. Okay. So there's a tower bridge up here. You can see it on the mini map, but let me go look up. Those are promotion quests, by the way. This game kind of takes the idea of, oh, fly is a useful spell, like for Might Magic 6, and turns it into, fly is a required spell to do jack squat in this game, which is part of the reason why I wanted to make sure I had a sorcerer with me. See, there's a tower up there. Um, this isn't quite as nasty looking as you would expect. I'm just going to walk up here so I have the map. And this is to Arathia. Okay. Leave Arathia to the north and one of the elven places to the south. Probably Tularian Forest is my guess. Anyway, we're following a path and now we're up high. Er. This place is weird and very difficult to map out, which is why I'm going to map them out. So there's a large number of teleporters here. That's what each of those pads are. They teleport you to various places around the Barrow Downs. Yep. So we're going to have to go through and teleport everywhere. I'm slightly off center again. Shield pedestal. That does me no good if I remember right. As a stone skin? No, earth resistance. That one actually does do me some good. So we're going to go clockwise. So this portal right here takes us right back to where we were. Good to know. I'm also looking for treasure chests for reference. This portal here takes us up to a large number of golems, some money, and that's really about it. Um, but over here is actually one of the places I needed to go, if I'm remembering correct. Pretty sure this is the School of Wizardry. Yeah, it is. A little fountain here. How cute. It increases your intellect and personality, which is very nice. And this is the School of Sorcery. The sharp electric smell of magic fills the air around outside the school. The result of hundreds of years of magical experiments and juvenile pranks. Prax? Prax? Pranks that happen happening in the same building. This is the School of Magic. These are wizards. Or... Don't screw with wizards. For you are crunchy and, crunchy and taste good with ketchup. Now, I believe it warns you when you try to look at these bookcases. Nope, just doesn't. Hi. You can talk to the Archmage standing here. Greetings, my name is Eric Swirrell. I run the information desk here at the School of Sorcery. Thomas Gray runs the School of Sorcery. If you're looking for promotion to wizard or honorary wizard, he's your man. His room's right through the door behind me. Would you like membership to the School of Sorcery Skull Shop? Membership allows 
free access to the scrolls available in our library. It costs 5,000 gold for a six month membership, but the stock re the shop stocks once per week. So basically, this dungeon respawns weekly and it will restock all of the bookcases here. I am totally paying for membership right now. Later on, it will become less useful. I believe that might have been it. Yep, that's it. So I got two scrolls for 5,000 gold. Day of protection, or, and, or sorry, hour of power and sun ray. Remember hour of power, right? You know, day of protection and hour of power are kind of two of the classic buff spells from Magic 6. Alright. Get out of my damn way. Um, and sun ray is a very powerful offensive light spell. That was much more useless in Might Magic 6 than Might Magic 7. Now, you'll notice that there's a bunch of blue dots around. This is actually a much larger dungeon than it appears. It's still fairly small, but... Anyway, Thomas Gray is the one that we want to talk to, who looks strangely like our butler. Thomas Gray, at your service. Anyway. So... I am indeed the one to speak with, uh, speak to if you wish to become wizards. Every student of mine must complete a project before I name them wizards. This year's project is to build a golem. There are spare parts scattered about the lands from here to Avli. You need all four limbs plus the torso and the head. Pay special attention to where you get the head. One of my students made a mistake while making a head last summer and gave the defective head away as a joke. When you have all the parts, come talk to me. I'll promote you to wizards and then I'll animate your golem. So your reward for this is not just the promotion, you actually get to keep the golem. The golem will end up patrolling your home. So, Castle Harmondale. So, uh, we now have... Yeah, if we have four people following us at the moment, we've got golem parts. So we added in the torso. Now we're no longer having to carry it around like that. And we're going to find the rest of the parts. Um, the golem parts... They're spread around kind of everywhere. Um, we've got the one in Barrow Downs, so we can cross that out. But we need to go pretty much everywhere else, and Bricada has the head. Which we, that's the wrong thing to minimize. One moment. I minimized OBS instead of disabling one note. There we go. Um, so. Ricotta has the two heads. There's two of them here. One of them is the malfunctioning head, or Abbey Normal head. It's a reference to uh, a very famous Mel Brooks movie. Um, yeah, Ricotta Desert has the appearance of dragon sand without the dragons and with golems. I think I'd rather have dragon sand. I really don't like Bricotta Desert until we can fly. It's really obnoxious. And until we finish that promotion quest, we can't fly. Because, if you noticed, it's in yellow. I'm pointing at the screen, that does not help. Um, air magic is in yellow, which means that we need to promote in order to be able to use Master Air Magic. That's the reason why I've been focusing on air magic, is my intent is to promote Wizard as fast as possible. Because then, we get two extremely extremely useful spells. Air magic is the water magic of this game, for reference. Um, fly, which is the same fly as in Might Magic 7, and there's a chest, uh, and invisibility. Invisibility is the new spell that's way more useful. See? Abbey normal golem part. We're not even going to pick it up. Because bad things happen if you build the golem with the abbey normal part. So, here's the bill of sale that lets you know where parts are. So, head in Bricada, two parts in Dea, one part in Avli, one part in Tatalia, one part in the Barrow Downs. That's why I wasn't too concerned about showing you the locations, because I knew we would find the listing. I have a new perch for Isin. Well, new to me. A uh, co-worker of mine lost his kitty. And, oh, I've just realized I've been using my clacky keyboard. I'm sorry, let me fix that. Um... Do, 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 do. I actually have two keyboards. Um, they're identical in every way, except one of them uses 
Cherry MX blue switches, and one of them uses Cherry MX red switches. The blue switches are what I actually prefer to use, but they're way too clacky for a YouTube video. So my apologies for starting with that. And a scroll of fly. Yes, please. I don't have my little stand up right now. There we go. It was on balance and making even more noise. Okay. I actually really don't like the red switches, but again, noise. So, uh, yep, this is the next one. This takes us to, okay, so we're right by the, um, whatchamacallit, the stables are down there. And there's a house here. It's the Temple of Light. Care, money can buy. Healing. Yep, Temple of Light. Talking about money immediately. Yeah. So, yep, yeah, there's a stable down there for reference. Oh, it always seems being cute. Take a look. It's right there. There's a tiny little cat tree there. But fits fairly well next to me, so hopefully I won't have as many kitties trying to walk over my face while I'm doing recordings. I'll still make sure I include kitties because seriously, they're cats. They're adorable, and they're the key to YouTube membership or viewership. Okay, so we've done that one, that one, and that one. I probably should just make a map of this. I know there's plenty online, but I want to do this the hard way. Okay, that's the one that brought me back to the temple. Good to know. Wait, both of these bring me to the temple? Yep. Hmm. Okay. Uh, this one here brings me to the middle of nowhere. For reference, we've been dotting all over the place over here. Oh, Bricado Desert. Anyway, we're going to walk across this perilous bridge. Of sorts. This should be easy. Study with the best and learn and visit all the buildings here. This is Master Guild of Water. All right. To the Water Guild. We in fact will be buying Town Portal here. We can't use it, and we're not going to be able to use it for a while. But I want to make sure I have it because that's kind of important. Actually, that selection sucked. Let's try that again. Welcome to the Water Guild. Uh, enchant item is nice. Acid burst. But no town portal this time. Third time to try. There's town portal. And we've got acid burst. Okay. Just want to make sure I get something that I can use right now. Ah, learned a new spell. And you're going to keep that there. So. Let us continue on. Uh, okay, here is that way. I think there's three different magic guilds that are accessible from here. Walk over to... Nope, that's the edge of the map. And that's a hard border. We cannot go further than that. A whole lot of nothing in Bricada Desert, by the way, if you couldn't tell from the whole lot of nothing everywhere. Oh, that's why I'm slightly off, because I knocked into my webcam a little bit. My webcam's just riding on top of my monitor, and my monitor's floating in the middle of the air, because that's the style of stand I have. Alright, oops, don't want to walk away. Let's walk in a different direction. I believe South One got me to that building, uh, that building, which is either somebody's house or that's the Guild of Light. I don't remember which now. I can't get there from here again. But I can get to money. Do, 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 do. There's probably not going to be a whole bunch of fighting in this video, is there? I think you're actually supposed to jump across those, but you can actually just walk right on the diagonal and be fine. Hmm, it seems on a different shelf than normal. Here's a tower. Ah, oh, this is the Guild of Illumination. So this is the Light Magic Guild, and as per any other Magic Guild, you have to be a member. Only difference is there's actually a quest to become a member in this game. We'll deal with that later. We can't actually get the quest yet anyway. Completely serious, we actually can't get it. All right, that's about as much as I can get from the rooftops here. So that was that one. This one. All right, I believe this is the inn. 
That's what my memory is telling me, at least. Come on in, have, have a, a drink. drink! So when I think a good bartender, I think a wizard. Yeah. All he does is pour into that glass. Anyway, we're here to play Archimage. Have a drink. Victory conditions. Um, we start with Tower 25, Wall of 10. And we need to get Tower 75 or Resources 200. Alright, let's take a look as to what we have. I keep trying to drag and drop cards. That's not the way this game works. You drew the card that I like to draw. So I'm trying to get them. Yep, there we go. So now that my wall is zero, if all walls take five damage, that means I take nothing and my opponent's wall takes five damage. It's a very nice combination. And I will increase my wall. Um, let's do a little bit of damage. Loadstone, stupid loadstone. Get some magic. I really need some tower or wall. Um, all players magic minus one. That would hurt me more than them, so no. But Dargan. Darkened. Let's get Quarry's help and get more tower. You have even more quarry now. Dang, I am losing the resource game badly. Little wall. Little baby wall. Lucky cash. Uh, let's get a little bit more wall. Bargain heart. I only need to get to tower 75 after all. And I'm not too far off of it now. Um, let's do some tower damage. Discard Imp. Imp is worthless. Um, yeah, we can crystallize and get almost all the way there. Alright, I need plus three tower. That's it. That's all that's needed for me to win right now. That'll do it. And we win. 1400 gold. Oh, oh, actually, that breaks my theory. I was always wondering if the... Um, Archimage rewards were actually based off of how many you've finished or which location that you did. And in this case, I actually did things in a slightly weird order, and that was a lower reward than our last one in Stone City. So, that's good to know. Um, did I learn anything that's actually useful? I can learn Disarm Trap on my... Nope. So that's not at all useful. Just seeing what else is around. After all, we're covering parts of the map. If I had the jump spell, that would not be impossible to do. And you can sort of... Oh, there's a challenge up there. Contest of intellect. Well, I don't really have a super high intellect on her, do I? 65. Uh, it's possible for me to win a challenge, but unlikely. Yep, a whole lot of nothing here. Oh, my housemate's heating something up. Yep. I would have to cast the fly spell to be able to reach that skill challenge. I'll get to it later. There's something down there. Oh, there's a shrine down. Oh, that's the entrance to the Red Dwarf Mines, isn't it? That's actually where we need to go, but I will just keep that in mind and continue exploring the teleporters first. So that was... That one, I believe. I'm going to just double check to make sure my memory is right. Yeah. So let's do this one next. This one is also known as, congratulations, you're getting attacked by griffins. It's the quote-unquote trap one. This won't stop me. I'm actually starting to wonder if I should have kept the clubs on for a bit longer. Just because I'm doing so much damage with the damn clubs. Also, there are some down, I just noticed. That's why I'm not doing much damage in melee. <laughs> Much better. Heroism is so overpowered when using clubs. This is ridiculous. Okay. Anyway. 
There's a teleporter out in the middle of the desert. But I'm gonna just look for loot. Are you actually up high or down below? You appear to be up high, but I can climb. I must have missed it before. Yeah, it's just ore, but... Hey, look, free ore. Um, yeah, regen's still up for another hour. I, mean, I should probably just start recasting it now while I'm thinking about it. I am going to be fighting a lot. I meant to actually hit the other one, but that's okay. Regen. Best healing spell in the game. Oh, second best. Er, third best? Yeah, we'll go with third best. Because um, Dark Magic actually has a much better capstone spell than um, Dark Containment. There's the teleporter. This time. Just going to be wandering around through here a little bit. Pick up this ore. I'm going super zoomy just because it's going to take me forever to wander around. I'll stop super zooming in a bit. There's no way I'm going to do Red Dwarf Mines at this speed. Right, I didn't hit that right. Ah, huh. you actually can't climb in super zoomy mode. Interesting. Just picking up loot as I see it, basically. I've been all around here. But this is somebody's house. Smiling Jack, dagger expert. Yes, please. And there's Master Dagger, and your bow expert. Am I even close to bow? I mean, I could put ranks in bow on Jessica. That's not a terrible idea. While I'm here and getting expert, and it's never going to get better than expert, but you know, there's. It's at least reducing recovery time by four. That's not nothing. Uh, sort of is. Yeah, it's probably not even worth putting points into it, to be honest. Okay. Continuing on. Zoom. There's more griffins over there. They're hiding. There they are. Um, if I remember right, that's actually where the obelisk is. Let's just cast Featherfall so I don't have to worry about things. We actually use Featherfall a lot more in this game than we did in Might Magic 6. Climb up here and hopefully I will finish climbing before a fight. Yeah, there we go. Hunting Griffin. Yep, you can see the obelisk over on the left. Yes! Oh, that was easy. Yeah, these griffins aren't that hard for us at this point. This game in general is a lot easier than Might Magic 6. It's actually one of the biggest complaints that most people have about it. <laughs> That's probably because Might Magic 6 was a lot harder than it should have been. I mean, yes, you can still screw yourself over by walking into the wrong spots in this game. Like, say, for instance, teleporting in the middle of all of these griffins. That would be the wrong way to do this. Or running into the middle of all of them. Like I just did. That's heroism up. Oh, it'll be nice when I'm actually at Grandmaster level and can cast heroism at a normal rate. This won't stop me. Of course, Grandmaster Spirit is not that great of an option. A lot of hunting griffin. Or rat Regular, oh, those are regular ones. That explains it. Never mind. Uh, I should have gotten something to drink first. Ah, what a scratch. How am I doing on time? I'm about ah, half an hour. Okay. So I'm probably going to finish going around Bricotta Ow. Desert and maybe enter Red Dwarf Mines and continue it later. I have things I need to do this weekend badly. I have to work, unfortunately. That's one of them. Climb? Yeah, I can climb this. Just going to take me a bit. Um, I have to work because um, things at work did not go according to plan. So that means I get to go work over the weekend. Yay! Um, there we go. Got the obelisk. 
Let's turn you this direction. Go back to super speed. Oh, that's a dead end. Oh, that's right. This entire thing's a dead end. Forgot. Okay. Let's go around this way. Yeah, there's some shops over to the left. In fact, let's go say hi to the shops. They might actually have... Right, I need to be out of super speed to climb. Weird how that works. By the way, super speed is not a thing that's in the normal game. Uh, that is something that was modded in. Here's a house. Bodybuilding expert. Are you actually close to bodybuilding? No, you haven't added any points in. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about that. Oh yeah, that's right. I can actually start looking for NPCs again. Because Prakata Desert has a different set of NPCs than normal. Useful. Yep, I made a wish. Stay calm, we'll get through. It's a wishing well, can't you tell? See what it does? No? 96004. 96004. <laughs> but now I'm cursed at 96004. I'm actually not sure what that wishing well does other than bad stuff. I can come back later once I have protection of magic to figure it out. Ranger Lord. I train only the most advanced students. Seek me out again when you reach hunter status. This is the second promotion. So unlike Might Magic 6, the second promotion is not necessarily the same person as the first promotion. Um, it basically depends on a lot of things. Spider. My dodging expert. And Puddlestone, the unarmed expert. Puddlestone. Why did your parents hate you so much? I don't even know if I'm going to bother with... Oh, yeah, I can... Oh, there must be a water magic guild here. So, Celeste is the magical city built by the wizards of Bracada centuries ago and anchored half in the mountains and half in the mists high above Bracada. You must use one of their teleporters to get there. You can find it near the center of Bracada. So, pulling up the map really fast. Um, Bracada is... Unlock. Here. Up in the top right-hand corner. It's heaven. Anyway, so let's go back. I thought there was shops over here, but it looks like it's just houses. Which is unfortunate. I probably wouldn't have bothered coming here. Yeah. Windows key lock, so I don't have to constantly hit things. Alright. And since it's nighttime, no shops are going to be open anyway. Yeah, it's 10 p.m. Actually, there's a lot better stuff out here. Maybe that's after the first reset. We're going to see a lot more map resets in our case, because we're taking a lot more time. I mean, for reference, it's May. We finished Might and Magic 6 almost at that point. Here's the entrance to Red Dwarf Mines. that one, though. We're going to be doing a lot of melee. I don't think these will disappear. The bodies. No, okay, good. Ow! I don't want to lose the bodies. My precious dead bodies. Bring on a bigger challenge. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, I mean, they're not exactly that hard, regular griffins. I really need to actually increase... What you call it? Um, ID monster. Two more griffins. My kingdom for actually having haste. Haste does kind of make the game a little broken, but... Oh well. Yeah, these are the red dwarf mines. So what was up in the north? Yeah, those are red dwarf mines. That's over there. So what was up there? Hmm. 
Hey, look, another club. This is worthless. And garbage loot. This is worthless. Yep, those are worthless. You are absolutely right. I'm now really curious to see what was up in the desert up north. I just need to make sure I don't accidentally walk to, to Arathia. I can't really walk that way, but I can walk this way. Back up to the teleporters. Which I haven't even finished looking at all the teleporters yet. Kind of like how I forgot to actually finish my game topic that I did last time. Alright, this was the last one. That's right, this goes to Celeste. This is the teleporter Celeste for reference. Um, you can't do much with it right now. We'll be able to soon. Ish. And we'll go north. Maybe this episode is just going to be clearing out Bricada. I normally don't actually clear out this zone. Strangely. Wrangle my way around here. Oh, I zoomed out. Uh -huh. Altar. Oh, this is one of the altars for the statuettes. Okay. That makes more sense. Grab some more lumps of ore and let's head to the south. You know why? Because I can. Alright. Are you the one? Yeah. You're the one that teleports me. Oh, no, that's not the one I was thinking of. I mean, it'll take me there. It's just going to take a bit longer. Oh, I was already going double speed. <sighs> so, it's been a bit. This is actually Saturday for reference. Um, how are people? I suppose that's good to hear. Hopefully that'll clear up. No, um... Jump up and actually head to the sandy parts, which I haven't really explored. I'm kind of writing the line of where things exist. So, see, I get stopped there. Uh, this was Genie Lamp. Yep. This is the one that I was thinking of in Might Magic. So, if we use the Genie Lamp. Plus one speed permanent. That's because it's the start of the month, isn't it? Yep, it's June for Oh, darn it, I just flopped over. Ah, oh, darn it. I wonder if I can get there faster. Yes, I can. Plus four accuracy permanently. Okay. So, yeah, we will do that. Oh, wrong one. We're going to do that because plus four accuracy permanent is a lot better. That puts me at the docks. I mean, that is where I, one of the places I want to go, but uh, let's go over to here. Nope, that's Celeste. Did one of these teleport me to a different spot than normal? Yes, it did. Oh, that's a random spot. I did not... I may have known that at one point, but... Hmm. Anyway. So where am I? I'm in the middle of nowhere. Sweet! Let's go north. How long do I have on Wizard Eye? Okay, I did recast it. I was making sure. Oh, and for those of you that don't have as bright of monitors that I do, let's have a little bit of light. It's not much, but it's something. So the main purpose of the golems everywhere around here is that you can lure really powerful enemies out to the golems. I don't want to go back to Barrow Downs. I never want to go back to the Barrow Downs. I'm going to have to go back. Um, because I can't get Town Portal without going back. Yes, I have the book, but I need to get up to Master Wizard and to get Master... Alright, I need to get up to Master Water, and to get up to Master Water, I need to have Master Wizard. And also, I need to go to the Master Water Teachers, which are in Nyon, which you have to get to via Stone City, which is in the Barrow Downs. Is this Temple of Water? 
Ooh, there's a crown. I mean, it's not the greatest, but... Nope, you are light magic expert and meditation master. Might as well get that information. And you... Teleporter, okay. Yeah, the minimap doesn't quite match up with things here, if you couldn't tell. <sighs> Game has a bit of a problem with its minimap. I think what ended up happening is that they changed a lot of this at the last moment. Smite Magic 7's release was a little rushed. Oh, I haven't finished searching up North Boa. That's fine. I actually want to go down around. Climb up. That's the teleporter. Yep, yeah, that's the teleporter to get over to uh, School of Sorcery. You know, Jean Grey's School of Sorcery. Anyway, there's loot over here. Or really confused by why there's ore everywhere here. Oh yeah, South also gets you to a. You can't go any further. So it past midnight now. Oh yeah. Okay, that'll be used some other time then. Yeah, there's a bunch of genie lamps out here for some reason. This is the other you accidentally everything. Ah, but a scratch. Let's kill another. Bring on a bigger challenge. This won't stop me. That was too easy. Let me recast regen, but that's okay. Do that now. That's a lot of griffins. They're guarding a treasure chest. Ow. Might need to back up, actually. I might have bit off more than I can chew at the moment. Actually, let's go ahead and fire aura the clubs. Ow. Ow. Ah, what a scratch. Oh, that was easy. Ow! Ah, what a scratch. Yeah, there's an actual royal griffin there. That's going to be potentially dangerous. Oh, I have blades equipped. Ah, what a scratch. Yes, yeah, so soon. What is it? Ow! Yes! Ah, what a scratch. Ow! I'm monitoring my hit points, don't worry. Yeah, the Royal Griffin's trying to get out of the way of these goobers. Do I have any spells that are good for areas of effect beyond sparks? Uh, I guess... Poison Spray? Okay. I don't think they're immune to poison. No, it's not great. It's definitely not great, but... Ow! Yep. That one's going to be a problem, so I'm going to focus on the ones that I can actually hit. And also, fire aura. Oh, wow. These are garbage. Also, I forgot I can equip a second dagger. I should do that. There. That'll help. Ow. Yeah, I'm really starting to think I'm I should have stick. Oop. Ow. That's not good. You're not going to die. Don't worry. Ah. What a scratch. Ow! Ah, what a scratch. Bring on a bigger challenge. Okay. And one all the way out there that I can't reach because it's running away. Oh no, it's not running away. Ow! Right there. Now, what the heck is in here? A crappy bow and a bunch of money. Hmm. Okay. This game likes trolling me. A hammer I don't even need to identify. And this is the other... What do you call it? Okay, so that means that we only have this area left. And yeah, this is going to be a slightly short episode, it looks like. But that's okay. Did I not go to... Yeah, I did, okay. 
Oh, maybe not. Let's climb up here and double check. Climbing, climbing, we're climbing all the way. Climbing, climbing, hey, hey, hey. Okay, that's artifacts and curiosities. Yeah, see, even the game assumes that you're going to be climbing a bit. And I think this is another shop. Weapon shop, maybe? Nope, that's it's not open. Alchemist shop. I would love to be able to go to them, but it's currently like 3 in the morning? 2 in the morning. 2.30. That was close. And this arm goes out to nothing, if I remember right. That's what it looks like, at least. I'm going to walk down here. Oh, I don't have feather fall up. Let's feather fall so I don't die. Yay, feather fall. And so much more useful in Might Magic 6, or in 7, by virtue of the fact that I constantly need it. Since fly is a lot harder to get. Again, this is a lot better for an introduction for people, because, you know, you don't have every ability possible right in the beginning. Well, that's not terrible. It's not what I'm looking for, but it's not terrible. And what is this house? Learning expert! There we go. I knew that had to be here. I just couldn't remember where. You're a prelate. Good evening. Yeah, you're the one that buff, buff, eh, buff self spells by four points. So that'd be really nice if you had an all cleric or all druid party. There's an equivalent for elemental as well. That's School of Magic, and I have basically cleared out the map. Pretty sure there's no enemies left. But I'm going to go to the one spot I haven't fully searched through first, just in case. Climb up here. It's weird how climbing ends up working in this game. Um, due north. Yep, there's nothing. Okay, we finished all the enemies. That's good. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this at the entrance to the Red Dwarf Mines. I'm just walking up there now. Also, it's like 3.30 in the morning. Okay. Fire just expired. That's what it was. Um, where's the entrance again? <laughs> Did I miss the entrance? I think I missed the entrance. Or it was all the way over here. One of the two. Oh, uh, yeah. Here it is. All right, we shall stop right here. I'm gonna recast regen on everybody. See, they actually sort of fixed the um, re-enter turn-based mode bug. We'll go ahead and stop here. Let's go ahead and save on episode 10. And, well, like I said, this is going to be a short episode, but I will see you next time. Goodbye, Internet.